This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. A high profile case will officially begin Tuesday in a Fulton County courtroom. A jury has been chosen in the trial of a woman accused of killing three children at a Rochester bus stop. A fourth child was seriously hurt. Alyssa Shepard is pleading not guilty to three counts of reckless homicide and other charges. The 24 year old is accused of hitting the children with a pickup truck as they crossed a two lane state highway. To get on their school bus, if convicted, she faces 21 years in prison. Six women and six men have been chosen for the jury, plus two alternates. We know 15 seats in the courtroom have been reserved for the victim's families since the tragedy. The state has passed new laws improving school bus and bus stop safety. RTV6 is working to get answers for concerned residents of Nashville, Indiana and Brown County. A big chunk of the city's downtown properties are going up for sale in two weeks. A man named Any Rogers owned about a third of downtown Nashville's businesses, about 25 local shops. And when he passed away, his children decided to sell his estate. Residents, business owners and elected officials are worried a buyer could come in and develop the properties. To try and help protect the businesses, the town council recently created new rules to make it harder to tear down buildings that are more than 50 years old. We talked to one shop owner who is staying optimistic. The spirit of Nashville is going to win out. And if someone buys it, they will buy it with the outlook of preserving it and, and helping Nashville stay the way it is. The properties are going up for auction on October 30th. We'll let you know what happens and keep you updated on any future plans for downtown Nashville. Changes in progress. Cold front sweeping through central Indiana lowers the temperature only to 52. That's the high tomorrow. We start to climb out of that deficit as we move toward the weekend. The definite warming trend will put us back in the 70s as we get to Saturday and Sunday. It's the wind tomorrow that will command your attention northwest 20 to 30 miles per hour with mostly cloudy skies. You'll definitely need the heavier coat. Temperatures do climb above 60 on Friday. Still dry. Slight chance of weekend thunderstorms. Better chance for thunderstorms early next week. Few of those may be strong as temperatures are into the low to mid 70s Monday, Amanda. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.